and what's particularly disturbing, let's take a look at Joan Rivers, uh, who we miss. These selfie photos uh, in the in the procedure room. I mean, hey, take a picture of me while Joan is behind me being well, treated. The doctor said, "Oh, Joan would would love this, would, you know." But she should have waited till after the procedure to. If she thought Joan would love it. But uh, we anyway. heard Harvey Levin say the anesthesiologist did not weigh Joan Rivers before giving her propofol. That's a, considered a major mistake. I, I, you know, I have, I've had endoscopy and they've never weighed me. They ask how much you weigh. Did you, did they have propofol? Were you? Yeah. And when I had the, the wrist procedure last week, they asked how much I weighed and they gave me pro, pro for all. Well, hopefully they gave you the right amount. I'm well, sure. let's ask Dr. Raj because this is what she does. Doctor? Do you weigh That's your right. patients before you give them? We the do weigh our patients and the most important thing is we document that weight in the chart. So th that's the, what happened here. They may have asked her her weight. They may have even weighed her. They didn't write it down in the chart and that's the proof that this was taken into account. So, so when you is, read this document though, are you right. shocked? Are you uh, horrified or is this uh, par for the course? What are we looking at here? Uh, I'm not shocked. I think there were a lot of errors. Unfortunately, when human beings are involved there are sometimes mistakes that happen I think some of the major problems and perhaps the most shocking was the fact that they did not get her informed consent to do these extra throat procedures she, she only wrote consent for her endoscopy she had two nasolaryngoscopies that's looking at the vocal cords performed by the other doctor that was not consented for and also that doctor was not credentialed to perform procedures in that facility But she asked her personal doctor to be there she asked her to be there. We don't know if she asked her to do the procedure. She may have, but nothing is documented. Whenever I do a procedure, whenever any doctor performs a procedure, you need to get written informed consent. That means the patient understands the risks and the benefits. Okay, so you're not shocked. You say that mistakes are made, and uh, so. But huh. I mean, this many mistakes is not a good thing, and I think this VIP syndrome probably played a part in it. Whereas she, you know, normally you won't have someone say, "Can my doctor be in the room?" You certainly are not going to let a doctor who's not credentialed do a procedure in your facility but when it comes to a VIP and perhaps Joan did ask this doctor to do it they sort of became starstruck and let some things fall by the wayside which is very unfortunate. Doctor while we have you here we want to talk about Dr. Craig Spencer who's getting out of the hospital today. That's the Ebola right. patient is no longer an Ebola patient. He's going home. Clean bill of health. Ebola free. Good news. It's great news because now this means there's no one currently in the U.S. who has Ebola, which That's is wonderful. Fantastic. He is going home. He's no longer infectious. He's no longer on, under quarantine. His fiance still is under quarantine. She still has to wait out the 21 days. Now their relationship um, is going to have to be limited. If you on know hold what I'm talking for about, about three months. That's right. He can't have any sexual activity for three months because it can be transmitted that way. But other than that, the public is totally safe from him. From One more time, anything. Ebola can, is a, as a sexually transmitted disease? It can be transmitted sexually from a man to a woman, yes. Mm. Well, we are so happy that he's healthy yes. and going home. That's Rosanna right. has a few questions for him about what he did <laughs> when he was in New York before well, he got well, sick. Well, maybe he'll come here and talk to us about maybe. it. Maybe. Yes. We hope so. Yeah. The request is in. Dr. Raj, we'll talk to you later. Yes. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Thanks a lot.